What is up, my name is The Sims 3 Luther, welcome to Let's Play The Sims 3 Supernatural Part 17. And I think I have the free will turned off. Yep. Oh, turn it back on. I have it turned off sometimes for some secret reason. Welcome to Let's Play The Sims 3 Supernatural Part 21. I'm not 21, Part 17, isn't it? This is the last part of Let's Play The Sims 3 Supernatural. And it's been several months since I've made a video, and I've gone on to make other Let's Plays, and I'm sorry about that if you were watching the Let's Play The Sims for Supernatural, but it, as of this video, it's officially over, and I just, I, I've decided just to go back and do endings to all of my videos. As you can see, Count Dracula here is miraculously brought back from the dead. I remember he was dead. And the point of this video is to just kind of wrap things up and maybe go over some stuff that I missed in The Sims for Supernatural. There wasn't much. But I know witches can do magic spells, but every part play with magic. I know I probably showed you this in like the first episode. Oh, stop being mean to Dracula, Tinkerbell. Not Tinkerbell, Dusty Bell. Tinkerbell is less attractive cousin or whatever. The thing is, um the thing is what am I, what am I trying to say? Oh, I have a better computer right now than I did when I did my um Supernatural Let's Plays and when I did all my other Let's Plays. So I'm just basically going back and putting the final touches on all of them. Um, fairies, I don't know if I showed you this, but fairies can send off auras and they make everybody else in the room feel better. And they also strengthen the fairies' power. So that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Um, vampires can do stuff. Vampires can... Actually, vampires can't do much of anything, can they? What can they do? What can a vampire do? <laughs> is he a vampire? Did I make him a vampire? I think I did. I'm pretty sure I did. He's a vampire. What is he? Where is he going? He just changed into different clothing for some reason. He can hunt. Vampires can hunt. Like so, they they but but they've been able to do that ever since. Um, ever since the original one. Ever since late night. I'm completely losing my train of thought on this. Well, the point of this is not to show Stop off all the you. stuff that I was supposed to be show you, but it's just to wrap up everything. <laughs> Let's get Bone Hilda. Cause I don't, I don't remember if we ever did get Bone Hilda or not. But let's do it now. If we didn't, then it's now or never. Getting Bone Hilda. Get a fairy house for what's your face. Get some jelly beans. So they ain't they're magical. And where's there's Bone Hilda? There you are, Hilda Bone. And let's have Piper Hollowell wake him up. I had to go back and recreate my um The Sims because I lost the save file. As you saw, I had to go back and recreate everybody. I'm sorry if they look slightly different, but oh, she's got on a red maid outfit this time. I think Drac. I think they look better this time because I'm better at making Sims. Don't eat those jelly beans. Those jelly those jelly beans will fucking kill you. I'm not kidding. Eat one. I've never died from the magic jelly bean though. I know it's possible to die from eating the magic jelly beans, but I haven't. What is it doing to her? I don't know what it did to her. What are you crying about? I just bought you a fucking fairy castle, you dumb bitch. Now go party. Go party in that fucking castle. How dare you defy me? What are you doing? The bush is in the way? What? Oh crap, I just moved Piper. I'm sorry, I have the I'm sorry guys, I have the move objects on because I was um wow. designing uh whatchamacallit. Is Piper really afraid of Bone Hilda? Yeah, you better throw that motherfucker. What is the police doing here? Are we getting locked up? Oh, I guess he's a police officer. Ooh, a fairy. Dusty, go talk to her. Bitch, what are you doing on my block? I'm supposed to be the only fairy on this block. What the fuck are you doing here? Nuh uh ho. I know you didn't come all over in my block trying to be a fairy and shit. I'm the only motherfucking fairy. Play a fairy trick. Shattering teeth. One thing about this The Sims 3 generation, I mean, The Sims 3 Supernatural that I wish they had added. I wish you had, you had the ability to make smaller fairies. I know that um fairies can. The uh, spell flight of Felicity, what's that? I don't think I know what that is. I, 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 like I was saying, I wish that fairies could be smaller. You could just make them like small all the time instead of like having to like do it sometimes. Ooh, she's glowing. Flight of Felicity. Can she do anything? 
Oh, I remember this. It just makes them be able to fly. Like in Peter Pan. And if you say I don't believe in fairies, you'll stop flying. See, like, she can fly now. Watch. That That's basically all it does. So she's, she's like a witch slash fairy. So, like, in this game, it's, you can probably become, like, really po powerful. You can be a witch and then, like, add on some fairy dust and you can fly. So you have a few fairy powers. So that makes that make you a little bit more powerful. One thing that I did not like about this game, though, I have to say, is that I wish you had the ability to mix these creatures. I wish you could make a witch werewolf fairy hybrid, like you like you could in Sims 2. You could make all these different types of hybrids, and it was all it was all great. Oh, I, I don't think vampires get their powers until the night. I don't think. So yeah, that's that's why he, it's not that he doesn't have any; he just doesn't get them until the night. So let's get him one of those coffin things so he can rest. Rest, vampire. Soon you will be with us in the night. Vampires always creep me out until twilight. Like, really, like, vampires are scary. Like, when you really think about it. But twilight makes them not scary. I can't afford it. Shit. Sell some shit. God, sell some more shit. Sell this fucking table. We don't need a table. What do we need a table? I still can't afford it. Are you serious? Sell the lamp, because the vampire is going to be sleeping here anyways. And I still can't fucking afford it. Get, get rid of this shit. Okay. Like, what was I saying? I don't even know. Um, yeah, vampires used to be scary before Twilight. Now, Twilight, with Twilight, you, they're, they're not really scary anymore. Like, when I was a kid, terrified of Dracula. Now, I, now I'm now i still terrified of Dracula. Dracula's scary. But I think that movies like Twilight and all the books of, like, the new vampires, the teenage vampire books and all that junk, it's kind of... I'm sorry if you like that kind of stuff, but it did kind of tarnish the name of vampire because vampires were scary. But now when people think vampire, they think, oh, Twilight. You know? And a lot of people don't like Twilight. I don't have that much of a problem with it. I just don't. I'm not interested in it. And I don't know why I'm talking about Twilight. Nafumi! Nafumi! Oh my god, will you shut up? Go talk to him. Friendly introduction. Go talk to him. He needs friends too. You smell bad, stupid werewolf. <laughs> I, w I wish I could have made one of them kleptomaniac so I could have. So I could steal the police car. That would be hilarious. To steal the police car. The door. I remember a couple years ago hearing about it on the news that someone actually got busted for stealing a police car. I mean, why would you steal a police car? I mean, it's a police car. I mean, don't they track those cars or something? You're a witch, you know. You're doing magic right in public. Like, Zara. don't do that. People will see you and they will burn you at the stake, obviously. Obviously. God, see, I really wish that I could have had this particular computer, which is much faster than any other computer I've recorded videos with. This this computer when I was doing my other let's say, like my generations when I'm, I'm doing the ending to, my pets when I'm doing an ending to, this one and the Showtime one. So those four, these four that I'm doing endings to, I'm going back and remaking The Sims and stuff like that. And it's been fun, and I'm also doing new thumbnails for them. So the Sims 3 Supernatural, I'm waiting till it, get, till it gets night, by the way, so that I can see what powers the vampire has. Um, but the Sims 3 Supernatural is an okay expansion pack. It's not a terrible expansion pack. It's just not. I don't like they. I can tell they put hard work into it because they built they built a new town. They did a bunch of stuff. They added all the new life saves, but I really wish they could have worked a little bit harder. Huh. On the fairies. So like that. Like I wish that you could have like a small version of a fairy. That you could just fly around like that all the time, but you can't, which is it's kinda lame, but it's okay. And I one thing that I also wish about this game is that I wish that the witches had more powers. Because I don't I don't know how much it would take. Like you don't have to create new animations for every spell. You could just like swish 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 and the spell does a certain thing. I mean that would have been cool too. And there is the stalker ice cream truck, so that's one thing. And basically, the werewolves are useless, pretty much in my opinion. They don't do anything. Okay, he can transform into a werewolf. Let's do that for one last time. He can transform into a werewolf. Do it. He does that, but then again, werewolves look like they don't look like werewolves. They just look like really hairy people with underbites. And it's okay. It's just not. It didn't Nurse wow me. It never wows me. Like where I was, are pretty useless. They, they they seem like more of a hassle than anything else. And of course, the fairies passing out. Probably the most the most useful characters to be to be is probably a witch or a fairy because they actually have magical powers that can do stuff. Okay, the night is nearly upon us, and we can see what Mr. Vampire here can do. 
Vampire, don't faint. Wake up. Everyone's pissing their pants and shit. You're fucking supernatural. Okay, you can drink, which you could always do. Deny being a vampire, confess to being a vampire. Hypnotic gaze, let's try that on the witch. Let's see if she lets me feed from her. Okay, hypnotic gaze and then drink. Wait, first make Piper think of me, because that helps out too, doesn't it? Let's see if we can get a drink from this witch. She's a supernatural fan. Drink from the bitch! Don't let her get away. I like how she just flies away with her fairy magic. Move out of the way. I am trying to get some blood here. Don't run away from me. Don't run away from me. Okay, let's see if we can drink from her. Rip cell. Devil slash. What? what do you mean no? This bitch. Okay, it looks like the vampires can... Ooh. Oh, no. Never mind. This here... Like the vampires disappearing and reappearing. This is a. I think that's a mod that I got. I don't think. I'm pretty sure this is a mod that I have. I don't think this is in Supernatural. Well, you can correct me if you want, but I'm pretty sure that I downloaded a mod that allows that. I could be completely wrong. I don't remember this stuff because I haven't played with this game. I haven't really played with like a vampire or a fairy or a werewolf in a really long time. The only character that I really use, like I said, is the witches because I think they're the only ones that are really useful because they actually do have powers that can do more stuff so well if it's not a mod then the vampires can teleport they can hypnotize people but it doesn't seem to work and he can appear in this cool baddie smoke thing so that's something um i know that fairies can communicate with plants when they get strong enough they they'll be able to um what's this Starving. Oh, and since it's a new moon, she's starving of moonlight because fairies need moonlight or something like that. Um, when it when she gets more powerful, she can make cause plants to grow. Witches eventually get really powerful. They can cast spells on all all sorts of spells on people. Let's try to spell just just so we can do everything. She knows the only spell she knows right now is the good luck charm. But eventually, she can like summon fire, freeze people, and ice. One thing about The Sims 2, which is, like, there was one spell, like, the most powerful spell you could do was the spell to stop time, and I loved it. Because oh, it reminded me of way. the show Charmed, but whatever. That's what, that's who she's named after. Piper from Charmed actually has the power to stop time. And so basically all that spell right there does is give her, it gives her a good luck mood, like, which basically does nothing. But eventually witches can summon the dead and cure zombies and clean a house with a spell and all sorts of cool stuff from this game. But... This is the last video that I will make on The Sims 3 Supernatural. So I hope you guys enjoy, enjoy, enjoy the other 16 episodes of it. Looks like our fairies went to sleep. But it has to come to an end. And we didn't get very far in this series. And I apologize because I kind of got a little sketchy with the recording of it. Because some stuff happened. I don't remember exactly what happened. But I kind of stopped recording it. But I'm going to tell you the backstories. I think um, Piper does get married. She gets married to another witch, and they have um, magical children. Her daughter grows up to be one of the most powerful witches ever, and she enslaves the entire world. Meanwhile, um, Count, go home. <laughs> Meanwhile, um, Dracula rises back from the dead after he's um, after he's been killed, and he um, um, he um, becomes an ally to Piper Hollowell's daughter, who's the evil witch that has enslaved the entire universe. Alex Timber um, is part of the rebels that rebel against Piper's daughter, and Alex Timber is a rebel, and he's helping the rebellion against her, and yeah, he's a very noble character. Fairy doesn't care about anyone. She can survive alone without anyone touching her, because she, she has the ability to disappear in at will, and she hides in the enchanted forest with, her, with, other, with other ones of her kin, and she lives out her days there, because the witches... Piper, Piper Hollowell's evil daughter's dark magic cannot go into the Enchanted Forest. And so that is what becomes of my four sins from The Sims 3 Supernatural. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. So, that is the end. Hold your breath and count to ten. Anyways, I'm not Adele. I'm not going to do that again. Okay, and I never got a chance to say how cool the mountains look on this, because they look nice. They look really nice. But, this is the end. 
Play a sad song. Well, play a creepy song. Play a creepy song at the end of the movie. Sims 3 Supernatural. And all together, it was a good expansion pack. I um enjoyed, I enjoy using it occasionally, but it's not like something that I just use all the time because it kind of does take you out of the normal gameplay. It's a good escape from the normal gameplay though. And um, thanks EA for making this because I really, I one thing that I really wanted from this was witches. And um, this is the end to my Sims 3 Supernatural Let's Play. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I probably said it like 18 times. And peace out, my ninjas. Fade to black.